Hi guys, my name is Yerne and I'm from Wire360. Today I want to show you the basic functionalities of hotspots and basically how you create them and uh, what settings come along with them. So let's start. To create a hotspot you basically click wherever you want it to be placed, double click, uh, and then you can choose from one of the options. Let's say we're gonna do a info hotspot. In the first step, you always have the option to choose either an icon hotspot or a polygon hotspot. An icon is basically an icon like this, and a polygon is a freeform tool that can mark certain areas and make them interactive. So let's choose an icon hotspot. In the next step, you're able to upload custom hotspots or just use our default settings. I'll use the default settings. Um, and then this part at the top, this is the actual content where you can add text or whatever. Uh, you can name the hotspot here and these are the additional settings that I wanted to talk about. The first, uh, the first additional settings are basically either uh, the option to pause the media that's playing when somebody interacts with the hotspot. And the second one is to have the Windows hotspots open when a scene loads. This is useful when you want to when you want to display a text or video from the beginning. The second one is window styling. You can basically select where you want the uh, escape button to be placed, what color should it be, uh, if you want the window border or not, the width, background color, and transparency. The last part of settings are basically icon settings. These come, come in handy if you would uh, be using uh, custom hotspots. And that's about it. Thank you.